Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on May 14th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we have a look at our sun, space weather, earthquakes, and world weather, disaster alerts from around the world. It's quite a package. I appreciate you tuning in. We're going to look here at 304 angstroms at a pretty active north northwestern limb, huge and wide plasma filament building here. Definitely affecting the corona of our sun. So we have some incoming activity, pretty much. Looking here at another light. You can see the corona start to build. Ionized helium rising up. And as well, we're looking at an earth-facing equatorial coronal hole wind stream which will be affecting us over the coming days looking here at another light you can see our whole corona sphere being affected amazing sun looking here at a real-time solar wind we are steady at about 300 kilometers per second saw a quick flip in the phi angle about four to six hours ago looking here at the schumann resonance as yesterday we had a spike and the day before we had a spike today's power of 65 let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as it's peppered it's a pretty busy 24-hour earthquake map so we're going to start out here in the dominican republic where the earthquake swarmers started again we had a 4.4 there and it's switched from all the book uh earthquakes in hawaii now it's back to the cascades in idaho and as well dominican republic minor rumbles all up the west coast the geysers and as well 2.9 there california bc or bc and mexico border 2.8 there in oklahoma and as well a 3.0 here in mentone texas over into Russia where there was 4.8 and as well 4.6 moving into Japan and as well a 4.2 at 442 kilometer depth quiet Indonesia looking here at a couple fours 4.4 and 4.3 both at, at 70 kilometer depth as well watching the Tonga region start to see more quakes 5.2 250 kilometer depth 4.8 as well at 4.5 and a strange earthquake here early this morning recorded and reported in my live stream 4.3 in Australia as well a 4.8 Madagascar so very interesting earthquake for Madagascar here at Kajurkistan, 4.6, and as well Uzbekistan, 4.6, 4.1 there. South America, looking at a 4.2 in Argentina, as well a 4.8. And this is after a pretty sizable 5.7 earthquake early this morning, southeast of Easter Island. 4.7 there. So we're definitely seeing an increase in seismicity around the world the last couple days. The deeper earthquakes, Tonga, Tonga region. Things quieted, quieting down in South America. All this interesting Nazca plate movement right into Central America, back with that earthquake swarm, the Dominican Republic, after a swarm just southeast of Pahala, Hawaii. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Just have a plan. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, most latest volcanoes, Dakono in Indonesia, as well Popo, Reventador, Sabancaya in Peru, Senge in Ecuador, Asosan in Japan, Kulchevskoy, Kushina Mirbajima, Karamiski. So that's about nine volcanoes being updated today, 
just in the past eight hours today looking at a very active Pacific Ocean right now looking at satellite imagery very active Philippines as Typhoon Vong Thong came ashore on the Philippines last night as a category 3 typhoon pretty much ravaging the Philippines all day long and it is continuing as a category 2 now downgraded and is set to go west jaunt a little bit west and then head straight north into the west pacific again overlooking australia and we do have some very dry conditions so the wildfires are starting across northern australia and as well as southwestern parts here and very interesting and dry florida as i-75 was closed down yesterday due to wildfires in the deep south here in Ferre, Florida. Dry conditions persisting straight up into Georgia. We're also looking at tornado warnings in the Iowa region right now. And tornado warnings just west of uh, West Louisiana. Have a look at tropical storm coverage here. Typhoon Vong Fong. This is what it looks like now, after raging through the Philippines as a Category 3 typhoon, it is downgraded to a 2. Also looking at an area of interest is this just south of Florida Panhandle. Now this is going to be an interesting event. Stay tuned for the 5-day forecast, which is coming right now. Invest Area 90L could merge with a couple low-pressure systems that are moving across the United States. Having a look here at the five-day forecast, you can see towards the end of the week just this massive amount of moisture. So we have one, two, and three low-pressure systems quite possibly merging into a superstorm. We're going to be keeping an eye on that situation for sure, as an area of interest could build into a tropical storm from Florida. Overlooking home base, Calgary, Alberta, some beautiful spring-like conditions all weekend long. Get out there and enjoy it. Calgary is opening up, but restaurants and uh, other small shops need to wait a little bit. But contractors are getting back to work. People are getting back. Let's get back to work, people. Overlooking none of it, as a huge low-pressure system is still hanging around there, bring down cool temperatures as well. A Pacific sizable Pacific low pressure system that will be penetrating the Washington coastline Monday into Tuesday but you can see here Colorado low develops heads south gets moisture and energy from the Gulf but then we've got the area of interest which is heading just east of the eastern seaboard United States we'll see where it goes in the five-day forecast still very hard to tell Overlooking Europe, large low pressure and uh, winter storm still affecting parts of Eastern Europe and Central. The United Kingdom in the coming days will receive quite a bit of rain. And as well, parts of Spain and up into Romania. Also watching for heavy snow parts of Ireland and Finland, Finland on the coastlines. Also watching here, quite possibly a cyclone form for eastern India, the Bay of Bengal could have a possible category 2, category 3 cyclone in the 5-day forecast. Still not an area of interest yet. 5-day forecast over Indonesia and up into Philippines. No more typhoons forming, but still a lot of moisture, a lot of energy. I'm going to be keeping an eye on the typhoon situation in the West Pacific. Overlooking Australia, east side coastlines from Brisbane up into New South Wales, receiving rainfall and severely dry conditions throughout Northern Territory of Australia. 
Five day forecast over Africa, nothing much to talk about. Actually, pretty dry considering. Overlooking South America. Watch for heavier rains, coastal regions, Panama later in the week, Monday into Tuesday could be some very extreme weather. Heads up, Panama. And as well, heads up, Argentina, as low pressure system after low pressure system has been just battering the coastline there. Atmospheric rivers of moisture penetrating the coastline. Things are warming up around the planet, and hurricane season is right around the corner. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared. My friends and family, stay young as well and have fun. Thanks for watching today. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Prayers for humanity. And thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, get in the comments section and say, hey, I made it all the way through the video because it really makes a difference. Don't forget to smash that like button. Bye-bye.